Hello, dearest Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, body parts, tankers, abrams, like legionnaires, however you come and whatever you are. Welcome to your November reading for 2018, this current year, of course. I'm still doing personal readings as well. All the information's in the description box below. Ugh. My eyeball's itchy. Excuse me. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, I hope y'all are doing very well. Welcome to Scorpio season. <coughs> Don't fuck up and... Don't be offering some false emotions. Like this guy right here, right? All immaturely. Uh, possibly ignoring an apology, I feel like, too. Because someone's acting out like a little brat. This is a general reading, of course. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's all good. I might hit you the next time. But no worries, right? Right. Definitely want to work on some stuff. And you're definitely looking to work towards getting a victory. Now there's gross stuff all over my cards because I haven't swept in a week. That's nice. I fucking hate this house. Not too terribly much, but yeah. But yeah, you're trying to work on stuff in order to obtain a victory and celebrate. Right? And celebrate with those around you. This is going to take a lot of effort. I'm going to read the cards a little faster than usual, but that's okay. The message should stay the same. I'm actually digging the way I'm reading it right now because it is a lot more convenient and I feel like I'm getting the messages a little better and a little bit more clear. Still a lack of decision making. So, there's that. But it worries me out because, like, ugh. I don't know. The kid. Alright, let's begin. This is going to be first card. Ooh, first two cards, actually. Someone's not happy completely, and someone's keeping their guard up. No whammies. Oh, there he is again. Ugh, look at all these kings. Ah, Scorpio. That is the beginning theme. Something old must die so something new can begin, Virgo. So, let's see. Excuse me while I hydrate. Okay. So, I got for you, right? There's, someone's not happy in this situation. Maybe because somebody wasn't offering their honest feelings or they were being emotionally stubborn or... Someone was uh, giving out more than what they could chew, or they weren't really thinking about the emotions of other people around them, and that caused some unhappiness. And someone's staying guarded in the situation when it comes to a king of wands. Very much could be a Leo, because I like to say they're the king. After all, they are Leo. But um, it could also be a Sagittarius or an Aries, and they're in that childish... I'm going to throw a temper tantrum and say mean things to you because that's what I'm good at. Kind of vibe, right? Where they're being just explosive and mean and hostile because they're upset about something and you just happen to be like right there. It's kind of like my brother when he wants to treat my mom like shit. But like, he really doesn't do anything. He just sits there and barks. Honestly, I don't know if I wonder if Sagittarius is good at fighting. I don't know. Sagittarius, I don't know where that came from, but Sagittarius are just weird to me. You know, they're just people who expect you to trust them all the time, but they're like the thieves of Skyrim. Like, you really shouldn't trust them, but that's the only way you can get them to be your friend. <laughs> That's what one of my, uh, I've experienced as a Capricorn, right? That's just how I see it. But anyway, yeah, like, there's some guarding from a King of Wands who's definitely coming against you with, like, very strict, very... Like, he's still being fair, but he's being cruel about it, right? 
Like, he may be saying everything honestly, and he might come back later and say, like, I, well, I didn't mean it, but, like, it doesn't change the fact that, like, it was to hurt someone's feelings. And then, like, here's this fear of, like, a breakup of sorts, or a separation between two people with the Two of Cups, possibly soulmates, possibly whatever. It could be you and your computer, your PC games, whatever you, if you think is your soulmate. It's up to you, man. Something to do with this King of Pentacles in the end, like a catalyst. Cor Capricorn Virgo, it could be yourself or Taurus. Someone can't be a con, someone being a shystakoft. Someone not really, um, being as productive as they should be. Like, he's too busy celebrating himself with a duck face than anything. He expects someone to, uh, worship him over the things he does because he thinks they're cool. But in reality, it's just like, yeah, dude, I did that, like, when I was ten. With a broken arm, like, I just used the other arm. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's like the most ridiculous shit someone could say, right? And they're proud of themselves, and they're really stuck on themselves. Like, they're very self-involved. They'd be quite narcissistic if they want to be, too, because, look, he's just looking at what he can recreate with this pentacle. And over here is this king of wands looking over here, like, almost judging him. Like, why are you such a bitch? <laughs> like, look at you. You are just looking over your stupid crap. Like, it's important or whatever. Like, that's so dumb. Why don't you do something with yourself, you know? Like, do something useful. I can see my brother saying that shit to my mother. Because he has. Uh, which is not fair. There's a lot of unfairness going on here. A lot of injustice. The scales will have to reweigh themselves out. That is chromatic. Oh, I'm not reading all those. Oh, but the Five of Pentacles did come up. Is somebody <coughs> is out in the cold? No whammies. So let's do the clarifications, right? Right. A lot of movement going on. Ending theme in all of this. Eight of Swords. Someone's been feeling trapped and they're about to change their ways. Death of the old and in with the new after this. Someone's gonna, definitely going to be coming out of it and they'll definitely be changing themselves. Uh, so there's a llot of movement going on because there is no satisfaction in this, right? And someone's keeping themselves guarded up because... Well, they're at a crossroads. They know that, like, they're coming to a situation where, like, their fear of some relationship breaking off is going to come to be, even though they have a lot of options. But one of those options, I think, is breaking this dude's heart or getting over the fact that this person has a broken heart. And this could be you, Virgo. Like, there's going to be a wound for a while, but, like, you'll get over it. And with this hanging out, like, this King of Wands is being rude and unkind, like... They're being really childish with their emotions. And this Knight of Cups is really offering their emotions up, which is causing, like... Someone to feel unsatisfied and wanting to move on, to charge, to do something different. Like, it, it, it's causing lots and lots of fights. The Five of Wands, that's the heart of the conflict. And no one likes being in conflict very often. You know? Oh! There is one. <clears throat> oh yes, someone's gonna start on a brand new journey with all this movement and all this argument. Like, we're right at the ace. 
Someone's going to get going. Might even be someone getting their rocks off. There, look at that, Virgo. You're going to be getting laid. Be proud of yourselves. I know you guys are the virgins. But Jesus, like... I'm a, I, 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 like, I will do you like I do my mother. Not literally, but, you know, wink, wink. Uh, I'm going to make inappropriate jokes to make you blush, because I think it's cute. <laughs> That's why I do it, anyway. I think my mom's adorable when she starts getting embarrassed because I talk that shit. Hey, fat kitty. What is my fat kitty doing today? Hmm? Yeah. You want your neck pets? You want your neck pets? You know I'm not moving. Yes. 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 You rub that bag. You rub that bag. You rub that bag. Yes, fat kitties. Don't you move away from my hand, you bastard. I feed you. Yeesh. That's my fat man's. Oh, I love him. It's very rare he comes over for me to pet him while I'm doing this. I have to take that opportunity, man. Thank you, sir. You're kind. And a cool ruler of this land. Let's see if we can get two more now. Sorry, like it's my kitties, man. They're like my babes. This one is my eldest babes. You're definitely gonna come to the decision when it comes to keeping your guard up in order to deal with being at this crossroads and like dealing with this fire sign who is coming off as like he needs a fucking nap. For real, for real. Maybe some warm milk. A little bit of whiskey in it to, like, you know, help him, like, sleep a little better. <laughs> oh, but there's an avoidance in fate. Someone's trying to avoid. Is it, uh, Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense. Like, you're afraid of a heartbreak or, like, a separation with somebody else. Even though you got all these other options around you and, like... Maybe you're not at your best right now, and that's because you feel like your heart's broken somewhere? Or, it has, or you'd need to deal with that? What's... For the first thing, if I could talk, maybe this situation is getting avoided because, like, you don't want to deal with this, you know, this heartbroken situation. Maybe it's left you a little bit, you know, bitter and feeling like you don't want to help people. You don't want to provide. And you don't want to be there for somebody else because it hurts, you know, but you're just delaying the options that are going to bring you something new, some closure, some happiness. You have to remember, like, with the tower, you have to let the building fall in order to make something better, right? And this is just one of those scenarios where that's what you need to do. Like, don't linger on the past. But that's your reading for November, where I'll see you later. Bye-bye.